Okay, hey folks, Mark Locklear here. Today we're going to talk about uh, chapter 13, dates and strings. A uh, big part of this uh, chapter talks about dates, and that's kind of the part I'm going to focus on more. Um, so as a developer, uh, as a software developer, uh, dealing with dates uh, it, or it will be near and dear to, to your heart. Um, it's um, it's something that all developers have to deal with at some point. I just uh, finished up a, a project for AB Tech where we were uh, I wrote a, a calendaring program for them, and um, yeah, I spent a lot, many many hours dealing with dates. Uh, and, and and the issue you run into is, and uh, this is more of a you know this is not a software develop a software development issue necessarily. This is just if you look at the history of dates. I mean, you know, dates and calendars are difficult things. They don't follow a set. You know, we have leap years every four four years and they don't necessarily follow any kind of set mathematical formula so because of that um, you know dates can be a difficult thing to to deal with so I think what we'll do today is uh, we're gonna look at uh, project 3-1 and the projects folder you're not doing any projects I don't think for your assignments this week but uh, I'm gonna choose project 3-1 to uh, implement and um, we'll just kinda go in and solve that problem and talk a little bit also about object oriented and classes too. We're going to use a, a class to sort of solve the problem there. So uh, I'm in NetBeans here. We're going to go in and start a new uh, start a new project and just create a project from scratch. And uh, before I do anything in my main application, I'm going to look at specifically my classes. Let me pull up my document here. And in fact, I'll put this so we can sort of see it. So I'm looking at project 3.1, uh, calculate reservation totals. So they've got us uh, an example. And essentially all we're doing is entering in month, day, and year of our arrival, and then month, day, and year of the departure. And then I think, and then $115 a night is what we're going to set our, our, uh, our, our daily price as. And then we'll just do some simple math to uh, calculate a, a total price. But, you know, the challenge here is to look at a date range and, um, and come up with a number of days for a given date range, which you would think on its face uh, would be simple. But again, when you start crossing different months, uh, when you start crossing different years, it can, it can be a very d difficult thing. But of course, Java has classes, and all, all programming languages, uh, you know, have some way of dealing with dates. You don't have to go in there and do the math your, your, yourself. You've always got some date or calendar class that you can use. It's going to help solve those problems for you. So let's just read through the specs uh, real quick here, and then we're going to. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll write some code. So if I'm looking in specs, the specification section here, it says create a class named reservation that defines a reservation. Let's just stop right there and think about that. So again, from an object-oriented standpoint, we talked about creating classes that sort of represent real-world objects. So in this case, the, uh, the problem we're trying to solve is one of a reservation system. So we take a reservation and we make a class out of that. And then we start to ask ourselves, well, what attributes might a reservation have? Well, that you're going to have an arrival time. You're going to have a departure time. Uh, you might have a number of people in your party. There's all kinds of things we can, we can come up with. We're going to keep it simple here, and we're just going to look at a arrival date and a departure date and then if we break break each break the date down then we start to come up with month day and year and that that should be for each for the arrival and the departure date if we have those three pieces of information we should be able to cal calculate a number of days so let's uh, let's create a reservation class I'm not even going to do anything in my main method yet I'm just going to go in here and create a reservation class and then we're gonna we'll sort of build that out. Now I've already got I've already got this code done, so I'm not gonna you know I'm not uh, I don't want you to think I'm just kind of doing this on, on the fly, but um, but uh, so I'll kind of paste it in as we go. That way you don't have to sit and watch me type it out. But let's read. So uh, I'm looking back in the specifications in the, the document. So it says the reservation class should contain a constructor that accepts uh, an arrival and departure date as per parameters of a type date as well as methods that will return the number of nights for the stay okay so I'm gonna create a constructor here that is going to accept a, an arrival and a departure date and in fact I'll go ahead and do do that now okay so I've got that and I notice I'm getting some some squiggly lines here so let's go ahead and deal with those so this date 
is just I, I need to import the Java date utility and just in case you, you're not sure what I did here I'm holding down the alt key and I'm pressing the enter key and that that's that gives you your your hint and in this case I'm gonna choose this uh, add import Java util date which that's all it does is add this line 7 here so I've got squeeze lines on arrival date departure date well this reservation class doesn't know what that is yet right so I need to actually create variables for for those things so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there that should take care of those and then we also need a price per night right we're gonna we're gonna calculate this date out um, but let's go ahead and create a variable for price per night so I'm going to take and put this in here okay now that this does a couple things for us number one it um, gives us one location you notice this is a this is a, a um, we've set this variable up and we've set it up in the reservation class and so if we ever need to go back and change this we've got a single place uh, where we can change it so that's helpful for us um, let's go back to our specs and see if they're asking for anything else specifically uh, it says in addition to creating the constructor and the variables uh, it should have methods that return uh, the number of nights uh, for the, the, the stay and it says in parentheses calculated by subtracting the arrival date from the departure date and the total price okay and then it says uh, this class should also override the two string method to return a string that looks like and then they give us an example there so I'm gonna go ahead and paste uh, I think I'll just go ahead and paste the rest of that code in and then we'll just walk through it okay so let's go ahead and get rid of our errors here so again I'm just gonna alt enter and so that import number format and then I've got a date format class alt enter import Java dot text dot date format and that takes care of those okay so I'm, I'm error free now so what did I just add in here so I added a get total price method and that takes our uh, num of nights variable and then it returns uh, price per night times uh, num of nights okay and then um, also uh, here's our get uh, get num of nights method two and then here we're doing this ms arrival ms de departure and then we're getting the times and then we're returning so we're casting as an int here and then we're subtracting arrival from departure and then we've got some math there that's just going to um, um, that's going to actually give us the number of days I, I won't go into I won't go into this math that's it's I, I think it's pretty standard for finding dates and then I'm overriding this two string method to return just kind of wraps everything up for us and gives us uh, a, a one long string that has the arrival date departure date price and total price and then the number of nights um, and then we're doing uh, we'll look at some of these methods e each one of these number format we've used it in the past it has a number of methods that are available to it we've got this date uh, th this date format class that's a new one for us but it's, it has a number of methods and then we'll be looking at the Gregorian calendar over in our uh, main method so this pretty much wraps up our reservation class based on the specifications we, we've got um, this should do everything we need it to do we're going to be passing up up in the constructor we'll be passing an arrival and a de departure date and then we're also doing this uh, uh, we're getting the total price based on the number of nights uh, we're getting we're going to find the total number of nights based on that arrival and departure date and then we've also got a helpful two string we're going to overwrite this two string um, method and that's going to wrap all of our, our, our return message, kind of wrap all of our data up into one string that we can output at the, uh, at the end of the, the program. Okay, now so let's uh, go to our main method and actually write, uh, write a program that's going to use. Uh, it's going to use our reservation class, okay? So starting fresh from a, uh, from a new main method here and so what do we want to do first first thing we want to do is uh, let's just use a scanner object to uh, get input we're going to be getting input from the user right 
So I'm going to come actually up here. We're going to create a method that's going to sort of get, get it. So I'm going to do this, and then let's, uh, so yeah, I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and put this static method get int. So we're going to use a get int method here. It's going to be outside of our class. And then we'll go ahead and put, uh, so let's, uh, we'll come back and fix these errors, uh, these errors when we're done. But let's uh, actually, let's do that. Should be a little better. Okay. And yeah, this should we should be able to fix this when we're done. In fact, let's see if we can move this down here. If that fixes, yeah, there we go. And then our scanner object, we need to import our scanner util. Okay. All right, there we go. So we're going to use this get int method. Just and we we've used this in, in the path that that's in the past. That's just going to uh, do some input validation on our uh, the input we get from the user. So now, what do we need to get from the user? So really, really, really need to get uh, well six pieces of data, three each for uh, three for the arrival date, three pieces of data for the departure date, and then that's going to be, of course, uh, month, day, and year for each one of those. So I think the way we'll do this is something like uh, that. So I've got just going to create three variables here, um, arrival month, arrival day, and arrival year, okay? And then I've just got my message here. And again, I'm just using this get int method where it takes a, a string prompt is all I'm going to pass to it. And then I'm just doing some validation inside here to verify that, that it, it is an int. I'm using this has next int uh, method on the scanner object. So I'm just getting the month, the arrival month, arrival day, and arrival year. And then what I'll do is go ahead and calculate the actual dates. I need to convert those to dates. So let's sort of see what we've, we've done here. And then, then we're going to do the same thing for the departure dates, but let's just focus on the arrival date for right now. So uh, we're going to use the Gregorian calendar cl uh, class here. So I'm going to create a new Gregorian calendar object. And so I want to import Java Util Gr Gregorian calendar. And uh, just if you want, if you're, if you're kind of a nerd and you want to read about some fun stuff, just uh, Google Gr Google Gregorian calendar and read the Wikipedia page or something like that that on it but and calendars are great just from a historical standpoint if you read all the way back to the dawn of man it you know as a civilized uh, it, just as human beings it took us about 5,000 years to come up with a calendar that actually worked and you know stayed on, on track and took took leap years and things like that into into a, a account so that and again that's why as I mentioned earlier that it's it's you know dealing with calendars and dates is such a tough problem but so what I've done here is I've created a new Gregory I've created a new variable or a new object called arrival and it is of type Gregorian calendar and then I've, I've actually passed three variables to it arrival year arrival month minus one and then arrival day okay and then I'm converting that into a date object and I'm calling that arrival date and then I'm doing get time on, on that um, and then so in fact if we let's just look at what that variable looks like if we do system dot out dot print line and then let's drop uh, arrival date in there and let's just see if that will run for us okay now I got some errors here I need to deal with so let's look so I need to import Java date util okay and now let's see if that'll run. Okay, so now I'm going to enter arrival month. We'll say July, and then arrival day. We'll say five, and then we'll say 2014 for the year. And then notice this this output that it gives us here. Now I'm mean, that didn't look very sexy, but it's giving us an actual date. And this is a date that um, this is a date that Java can use. And more importantly, when we pass this to our reservation class. It's it's in it's in a format such that we can do things like look at a date range and find out the number of nights or the number of days in a given date range. Okay, so essentially we're going to do the same thing for the uh, for the departure 
date. And so I'm just going to copy all that in. And in fact, I didn't need to. I meant to comment out this one. So let's do the same thing for departure. So line things up, make it look nice. Okay. Um, okay. So now we've got uh, we've got our three arrival variables, month, day, and year, and we've got our three departure variables, month, day, and year. And then we're also converting those to uh, valid or useful uh, arrival dates and departure dates that uh, we can then do some other calculations based on. And in fact, really all we have to do now, I mean, it really all the tough work's done is let's just um, create a new reservation. So we're going to do something like this. And so this should be pretty standard for us at this point. So we're creating a new uh, reservation object, object called res. So again, we're calling our, calling our reservation class here. And then we're passing, remember our constructor wants an arrival date and a departure date. So we're passing those things into it. And at that point, we can just call the two-string method and we're, we're done. So in fact, we can just go... Uh, Let's just comment this out and we'll call res dot and then so we could do a couple things here we can look at number of nights we can look at total price uh, and then here's our two string method let's go ahead and look at two string method so let's do our month is going to be five um, our arrival day we'll say is five and then we'll do 2014 and then let's do depart is going to be five and we'll do for two days so we'll say 5 7 2014 and then notice we get 115 a night so total is 230 dollars for two nights okay um, let's look at I want to make sure we're, we're clear so notice these different I just want you to see the methods and things that are available to us so for instance we created this new departure object and it's of type Gregorian calendar so I can do departure dot and notice all the cool stuff I get here add b before you can go through and read notice too just if you haven't seen this you know when you when you look at the methods list it also shows you you know gives you a, a real brief description of maybe what that method does some uh, some methods are more descriptive than others but you've got different things that will show you um, that it it'll explain what the method does but notice all this stuff all this cool stuff that's available to you all of these methods set week date set time zone um, there's just all all kinds of things that you you can roll that you can use in there and and this may seem like overkill or why in the world would you need all, all these things but you never you know users ask for all kinds of things when it comes to dates and everybody every everybody wants their date in a different for format some want month day year some want, want year month month date and so you really do need a lot of tools in your toolbox to be able to handle uh, dates of different kinds okay okay so that's all I've got uh, on on uh, date, dates and strings if you have any questions shoot me an email thank you